Man, what's the word, man? It's your boy C3 Gets Busy, man. Checking in from the rack. I'm here with my boy Chop Talk TV, man. They here from St. Louis, man. And guess what? On key score, man. Chop Talk TV, this ain't that. Y'all know this big business and we ain't keeping no scope, man. We live from the rack. Got my dog C3 in the building. What's, What's the up, word? man? How you doing? What's the word, man? We chilling, man. We finally got on up here, man. What's going on in the For rack, sure, man? Yeah, hey, man. they here from St. Louis, man. Y'all know what the fuck going on, man. This your boy C3 gets busy in this bitch, man. That's right. That's so, right, man. How your 2022 been so far? Shit, it's been lit. It's been lit for me. Yeah. I just dropped close your damn mouth. That motherfucker doing numbers right now. Oh, yeah. You know, I just did an interview with Truth Tellers. Oh, yeah. That motherfucker doing good. Shout out Truth Teller, man. You know, so, and then, you know, we got Chop Talk in the building right now. Yeah, man. That's we, what's important right now. Fuck yeah, all the other yeah, shit, man. Uh, yeah, that's what's up. We I'm got Chop Talk in, man. That's what's up, man. Where you, uh, where you grow up at, uh, C3? Um, I grew up on the low end. Um, you know, I'm from the Robert Taylors. You know, that's where I grew up in projects. And then, you know, I moved to Inglewood, south side of Chicago. And I was raised from there on out. Yeah. Yeah. What's the difference between, like, because I be hearing that a lot, like, the low end and then another place, like, what's, the, like, I don't I don't get it, the low end. Why they call it the low end? The low end, they call it the low end because, you know, the, the numbers, you know, as you go down, they get lower. Uh -huh. You know, like, it started, like, I'll say, in my opinion, it started, like, you know, 48th. Okay. The 40s and on down. You go, how far I go down? Do it go down to one? <laughs> Shit. Probably go down. Nah, it don't go down no one. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> it don't go down no one. Hell <laughs> nah. yeah. What was like uh, growing up on the low end though, as a kid, as a shorty growing up? Shit, shit, it was it was cool growing up on the low end until I got to Inglewood. Okay. And I started growing up a little bit, but when the drill scene hit, that's when shit like really got like critical. Yeah. You know, everything was cool until like the drill scene hit. When did when did the drill scene? What year did the drill scene? The hit? drill scene hit like 2000. And it started boiling up in 2011. 2011, it started boiling up. So it started, started kind of like everybody started gravitating towards. Yeah, it. Yeah, everybody started gravitating towards the drill scene. Man, I heard it was a, a brother named by. He was like, quote unquote, like one of the first drill rappers. His name was a uh, Pac Man. Yeah, Pac Man was one of the um, first drill rappers. And he was hard, bro. Dude used to be spinning. Yeah, he, he was um he was he started before 2011 though. Right, right, right. This was way before social media even kind of like took flight for real. Yeah, for sure. And I was like, man, dude had some balls. Like he was dropping shit. I'm, unfortunately, he got killed and shit, man. Yeah. I'm like, damn, man. Why the love to hear his music like transition? When it, when the drill first came out, did you? kind of gravitate start like fucking with the music then hell yeah i was i was you know i was like around the same age as keeping them so you know i was bumping that shit on my ipod that's yeah. what that's what ipods had hit the same the little silver ipods yeah. i was bumping that shit yeah finally rich i was down you know we was able because at first we had to go to the you know we had to go to the library and shit to download our music yeah, yeah. But you know, we got them iPods, we could download yeah. that shit right there. Yeah. I was jamming, but you'll get your ass beat on the bus. <laughs> Man, that shit too loud. Yeah, Listen oh, to yeah, the, wrong, yeah. the wrong song in the wrong neighborhood. Yeah. Get your ass beat up on so the bus. So that's for real. Uh, Keith had the city turned. Yeah, the city was turned. Like, man, he woke the city up. For real. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The whole drill scene, man, the city was lit. What was his first song that like had the city like going crazy? In? Um, shit, I can't say what had. But I, I said it was Lil Sosa that had everybody like that's Lil going was going, to hit going crazy. Nah, nah, I, it was uh, I don't like. Uh, don't, don't like went crazy too, but yeah. Love Sosa was something different. Yeah, right. Yeah. And they just, the, the, the no shirts, the hundred niggas in the house, yeah, everybody yeah. bouncing around with dreads. Like, man, we felt that shit all the way in St. Louis. I swear yeah. to God, <laughs> bro. We felt that shit <laughs> like, <laughs> like motherfucker, man. You said we felt that shit. Did right. you uh, ever go to school with any of them brothers or like, you know what I'm saying, rotate with them in any um, of circles and shit? Um, I went to, so I went to school around a lot of them. Okay. Like I went to school right on um on Lamron. I went to Johnson. That's on 63rd and Stewart. Mm -hmm. So you know I used to see Keith Rondo, all of them. You know they was walking past Little Dirt and all of them. They was right there on the corner playing. You know right there playing basketball and shit. Oh yeah. This before like you know 
the early they got days. As, yeah, that was the early days before they got as big as they is, you know, today. All right, all right, damn. But before the drill scene, was the gang culture here kind of heavy stick through before the music shit? I mean, it was it was heavy, but you know, our generation wasn't too much involved in it. When our generation got really involved into the gang culture, it was like we turned it up like right. 30 times, 100 times more. Yes. And now, like, the new generation behind us, they turned it up even, even more. more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Like, I ain't gonna lie, they got that shit on a gazillion, bro. Ooh, like, sure. it's, like y'all trying to calm it down, and they like, uh-uh. But we got kids and shit now, like. Right, right. Like, right. we, like, at first, you know, we was young. We didn't know what the fuck we was doing. Mm. Or we didn't know motherfuckers gonna gravitate towards this shit, like, the way they did. Now these kids, like, they sucking in everything like a sponge. Yeah. Everything. They go listen to one song, they ready to go do a hit. Yeah, dog. That's crazy, bro. That is just mind-boggling how influenced that music For does, real. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because I, when I, even when I was young, I, man, I used to listen to Chief Keef. I was ready to beat a motherfucker when I was listening to Chief. Yeah, that yeah. shit had my ass yeah. ready to do all types of yeah. shit. Yeah, that's great. So what you what you got uh, rotating with the music, man? You got EP out. Um, tape. I got an EP coming out this summertime. In the summertime, I, I gave them one song off the EP this year. I gave them "Close Your Damn Mouth." Okay. They ain't satisfied with that, so I got to get them some more. And I told y'all I'm finna drop some tonight. Oh yeah, I'm that's right. Dropping some tonight, man. Yeah, you gonna drop some tonight? Yeah. What about your visuals? You, uh, you got some visuals out and shit. I dropped visuals. I just dropped the visual like a few weeks ago. I got another one on the way. It's gonna be another song off the EP. I'm doing a visual too. Okay. But I really didn't want to drop no more visuals until I dropped the EP. Okay. And you know, do a do a do a um a video to each one um on the EP. Okay. You know, that's how you really promote y'all. If y'all trying to market, that's how you market. You on your fifty six shit. You remember fifty did that back in the day. That's you know? how you yeah. market y'all music, man. Yeah, yeah. You right, cause we in the time and everything is tangible. Everybody like looking at things. So yeah. Videos is just going crazy. Everybody just can't wait to see and what then video. We blessed one of the biggest platforms, YouTube. That's yeah, one of the biggest platforms in the world. Man, real talk. Yeah. Like, YouTube is, uh, man, I ain't gonna lie. I wish they had this shit in 1997, boy. Man, they had YouTube back then when, when y'all was growing up, like in the park and Biggie days, man. <laughs> boy. Man, that shit would have been yeah, lit. You I'd have been a millionaire by now. Shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd have been rich by now, straight up. You, uh, you got any features with anybody in the city, man? Who you, who you doing it's, features? It's so, it's so much going on, man. It, it, this ain't even the right time to even really be doing features with. with okay, with, it's a lot going on. Yeah, it's too much going on to just be doing features with everybody. Because when you do features with certain motherfuckers, like, it, it, this how Chicago is. Like, you, you, it's like, oh, you do a feature with that motherfucker, it's like, oh, you picking their side. Man. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's how it is. And they, they ops low-key become your ops and shit. Yeah, yeah. So I, I guess it takes a certain type of artist to be able to stay in the middle. I work with, like, motherfuckers from out of town. Like, I'm definitely, you know, open to working with different motherfuckers from different cities. Right. right. But, like, far as me, like, doing features with, like, motherfuckers in Chicago, really not, you know, really not my thing. Right, right. I like rocking with, I like fucking with motherfuckers from... Locking in with motherfuckers from you know, from different cities like Chop Chop Talk TV, man. Yeah, right. right. Then, where you uh, what would you say you you find your inspiration outside of all this gang stuff and the violence? Where you say you find your inspiration to do to do music? Shit, I, the the way I grew up, like you know, I I ain't grew up like a regular teenager and shit. Like, I I come from like group homes and shit and shelters. So you know that's that's what motivate me to. You know, grind and you know, try to reach reach every goal that I want. I want to reach. You know.